Hi, I'm Noah Bombard, and here's what's happening in the ET Newsroom Thursday, September 2nd. Well, of course, the big news story uh, this week is whether or not Hurricane Earl is going to sock us or just kind of breeze by. Of course, we're all hoping for the latter, but we're continuing to keep our eye on that as our meteorologists from around the, the state and around the, the region. The feeling at this point is that by day's end, we'll have a good idea as to whether or not this hurricane's really going to hit us or whether or not we're just going to get uh, some rain and some increased winds. Uh, the indication at this point is that when it does hit, we're looking at probably about a 12-hour storm. So it's going to be out of here uh, by, uh, by Saturday morning, or at least by mid-morning at the latest. Now, we're continuing to keep a close eye on this. Now, if it does turn into a bigger storm for us, uh, we'll be mobilizing with our uh, weather blog as we've done in the past. Uh, you can go on to the Eagles Green homepage and we'll have updates as to the latest news as what's going on and you can actually chime in there as well report what's happening from your location speaking of which if you're out there with a video camera or a, a, a still a photo camera and you get some images or get some video of some of this weather related stuff that could hit us we invite you to please send that to us uh, you know if you're on Facebook or Twitter uh, you're easy to get a hold of us that way and send us that and we'll be happy to uh, plug that and put it on our uh, website as well now, a couple of local meteorologists are really watching the storm. Of course, Matt Noyes, uh, who we turn to often in the Eagle Tribune uh, to look for information, says uh, one interesting point is that these hurricanes uh, never, ever move further east. They always either stay on path or move closer to us. So at the very least, it's going to be about 100 miles uh, off coast. It could move closer, causing uh, more uh, damage and more severe weather. Now, Ryan Breton is a Central Catholic student who runs his own weather website, AtkinsonWeather.com. You can find him on Twitter as well, uh, Twitter slash AtkinsonWeather. And uh, he's uh, been right on top of the storm. Actually, I was talking to him on the phone earlier today, he's basically sitting there with his laptop. He's tapped into the uh, uh, National Weather Service, uh, getting a lot of this data, uh, tracking the storm. Uh, so he's a good one, actually, to follow if you want up-to-date uh, up information on what's happening and what's developing. Well, of course, although we all hope that it blows by, there is the chance of it turning more serious. And public officials are saying, you know, to make sure and take this serious, uh, you know, make sure you're stocked up on supplies. If you're living close to the water, make sure everything's battened down. You want to be ready in case it does uh, turn more severe. As I've said, hopefully it won't, and we'll be kind of laughing this off uh, on Saturday morning. Well, make sure and bring your umbrella to work tomorrow. And just a reminder, you can find all this content and a lot more at eaglestribune.com right now.